stuff that I took for granted when I was in my 20s, early 20s when I was racing, um, are, are now finally starting to come back. That muscle memory is starting to come back. Uh, just, you know, the seat of the pants stuff, the, the feeling you get when you go deep into a corner after a really fast straightaway. Um, turning in under the brakes, uh, stuff that I, I never even thought about before. And I really haven't had a chance to, to, to run a lot um, in other cars that I own. So this is, you just click off lap after lap after lap and man, you, you start really working forward. You, you take your braking a little deeper until you, you find that envelope. Well, okay, I can't go to the 300 foot marker, but I can go to the 325 foot marker. You're down to 25 feet now of making the corner or not. So that's kind of the, the Nat's ass. That's kind of the fine line you're trying to find with this car um, because it's going to take that. These guys are really fast at running this series, that run an international GT, and it's going to take that to keep up with them. The plan is, um, you know, we have a, a, a Group 11, which is what I've been running uh, since day one in SVRA. Uh, warm-up session, it's a qualifying session for them. I'm using it as a warm-up um, to, to try it. There's a couple things that I want to try out on the track and to see, you know, if it works, if it makes us a little quicker, a little, little bit easier to drive, that type of thing. And we're literally just using it as a warm-up to warm up the tires, the brakes, the engine, everything up to operating temperatures. And then we, we're gonna go park it and put it on the grid uh, for the race. Might give us a slight advantage, you know, we've got a little more heat uh, than, than the guys that I'm racing with. Um, but hey, you know, it's a chess game. I, I signed up for SVRI, I signed up for International GT. I'm using all the chess pieces to my advantage. I kind of just, run different scenarios in my head you know if this happens do this if that happens do that you know little butterflies not big time if you're not nervous then you, then you must be dead you know it's uh it's it's exciting you know and i'm running against a guy that, that has won championships um he's run imsa uh his car is super fast and really good get up next to him ready 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 we get the green flag and off we go. I got a good start and just kind of tried to latch on as close as I could to the Porsche in front of me. You know, the guy's super fast and and you know I held my own there for a, for a while. I had a two second lead on the guy behind me and uh, you know just kind of clicking him off, waiting. It took a good oh I don't know two two and a half laps for the tires to really get warm and, and to where I had enough grip. And, uh, you know, so everything was clicking along, you know, pretty nicely. turn one and you know that's a fourth gear corner and you're flat out before the apex and he goes in there gets sideways and now now what do you got to do you have you ha I have to check up and um, that allows Pank who's behind me to catch me now he's got the momentum and here he comes and he gets by me down the straightaway Those cars are, are narrow and fast down the straightaway. Uh, they got put out a lot of power, so now I've got to deal with a car that's faster down the straight, slower in the corners than me, and now what do I do? We've got to try and set him up and get by him. If, if I get by him in the right spot, I'll leave him, and I'll, you know, I'll, be, I'll be a solid second place here. But as it turned out, we got into a slugfest, and it was one of the greatest races I've ever had.
body's going through the motion of driving the car, and your brain is going through the, the motion of, okay, how am I gonna get by him? Where am I gonna set him up? You go through gamesmanship on, on what, what's gonna happen. If he blocks me here, I, what are my options? And so I'm just kind of sizing up the situation here. I, you know, I try to move on the inside, had it, you know, I was in the grass. He left me enough room there and on the exit we touched. He, he stayed in on, on the track, I stayed on the track and now he's got the inside for the next corner. I wasn't able to pull it off. As the race goes on, you know, I'm thinking, I keep looking at the starter every time we go by, I'm going, well, this thing's got to be over with here pretty quick. And then I get, uh, hey, you know, we we got two laps to go. And it's like, uh, Tom's starting to get a little ragged. Uh, I don't know if his tires are too hot or something. He's getting a little ragged here. He wasn't as clean as he was before. And I'm thinking, all right, I might have a chance here to get by him. If he makes a mistake or something, I have an opportunity to get by him. Then I get the low fuel light. Just go back to the trailer, dude. I don't have anything to say. I apologize. Everything said that, uh, you know, we had more than enough. And I had to pull in the pits. We were we were done. We lost, so. Sometimes you're, you're throwing a curveball that totally doesn't work in your favor and you have to deal with it on the fly. Lesson learned. Um, we're still learning this car. We thought we, we should have had plenty, but you know, the computer didn't give us the right information. Should have had plenty, but as it turned out, it was a miscalculation. We know now where it came from. We get to do a reset, you know, we, we have another race and let's see if we can't do a little better. So did you get that at Walmart oh. at midnight last night? No, nope. actually I got it at Road America Walmart and I forgot to put it in the car. I'm like, if I set it so it's staring at him, if it's a distraction, I'll rip it out of there. We need a little mascot. There you we go. We need a little light humor. There you, you go. Know, after we failed miserably on, on fuel calculations. <laughs>